Hi guys. So as you've probably seen the shorts, I decided to change the display in my DS5, this one here for a color one. The thing is we need to start off with removing the instrument cluster. As you can see, mine's already loose. You need two or actually three spoons. You wedge one in here, another one on this other side, there's a small point here and use our third one to wedge it on the side here and pull it up. And another important thing, you need to dislodge the steering wheel, pull it down, pull it back, so we'll be able to remove the cluster from the top. Okay, we've got the steering wheel back, so we can flip this over and disconnect these two cables here. So we don't need to disconnect this cable, just this one, you press down here. But I see the first problem, here we have the uh, hex screws, the hex or Torx? Looks like hex. Whilst the Peugeot had Phillips. Well, before making the actual swap, maybe just a dry run, seeing if the display I bought for that crashed car actually works. And it does. And just look how much better it looks. Okay, good. I took a whole set of keys. On the internet, somebody wrote it's a T10 a Torx. But this one actually spins in place but this hex key or as some call it allen key works perfectly i don't know what size it is cannot read this so get yourself a whole set screwing this back in you can use the phillips head screws instead of the hex key they're exactly the same thread oh, i was gonna show you the bottom part so there's actually this channel here where you push in the screwdriver. Unfortunately, that's not visible when it's mounted inside. See, I made some scratches. So this is about 1.5 centimeters from the edge or centimeter from this point. Or if somebody likes more, it's like half an inch. And here also about half an inch from the edge of this button here. So don't make the mistake I made. Oh no, that shouldn't be visible once you put this back in. And now for the less pleasurable bit, it looks that I'll need to use Lexia and Diagbox after all to reconfigure this display so it actually looks like a Citroen.